Paris Hilton has been getting a lot of media attention for the shockingly unsafe parenting mistakes she's been making lately. But it turns out that she might have actually staged those troubling moments with her kids for an unbelievable reason. But why exactly would Paris want to pretend to be a clueless mom who has potentially put both of her children's lives in danger? The truth behind her fake parenting mishaps and why she's been putting on such a crazy act is absolutely bizarre, so let's get into it. Paris was recently called out by social media users after they noticed a concerning detail in one of her videos. According to Marka, the clip showed Paris in a pool with her one-year-old son, Phoenix, who was wearing a flotation device for toddlers called a puddle jumper. Unfortunately, Phoenix's puddle jumper was on backwards, which a lot of people pointed out in the video's comment section. TMZ reported that on Paris' TikTok, there were many remarks about the flotation device being worn incorrectly, but most of them had been worded in a really kind way. One TikTok user wrote that as a mom who also uses a puddle jumper for her kid, she just wanted to leave a tip that Phoenix's was on backwards. Paris thanked the commenter for letting her know about the mistake and added that while she and Phoenix were in the pool, she never let him out of her arms. But then she made a pretty surprising admission. Paris confessed that she had originally thought that Phoenix's flotation device was on backwards and had even asked the person she had purchased it from if it was on correctly. She claimed that they had told her that her son was wearing it the right way and thanked the commenter a second time for pointing out the safety issue. However, many other users weren't as kind. They accused Paris of being an ignorant bad mom. They commented that if a child were to fall into the water while wearing a puddle jumper backwards, the foam side would float up, meaning the child would actually be face down and possibly drown. But part of the reason some people were so upset was because this wasn't the first time that Paris has made a nerve-wracking safety mishap when it comes to her children. She had posted a video less than two weeks earlier that revealed an even more alarming mistake. According to page six, Paris shared a TikTok that she had filmed one day earlier, right before she, Carter and the kids left for a Mother's Day brunch. In the clip, Phoenix and then six-month-old London were all dressed up and sitting patiently in their car seats. But many people commented to call attention to how the car seats were set up, which was seriously dangerous. Both Phoenix and London's car seat were facing forward, the straps of their harnesses were visibly loose, and the seats had also been installed using a latch as well as a seatbelt. In a lot of states, the law requires children under two years old to be in rear-facing car seats, which many TikTok users brought up in the comment section. The California Highway Patrol's website states that kids under two years old are required to ride in rear-facing car seats with two exceptions. If a child younger than two years old weighs 40 or more pounds or is 40 or more inches tall, then they can ride in a forward-facing car seat. Not only are London and Phoenix under two years old, but they're both clearly under the height and weight requirements for forward-facing car seats as well. Aside from that, Paris's TikTok showed that the car seats had been secured incorrectly, which was also very unsafe. According to the website, Safe in the Seat, almost every car seat manufacturer warns against using the latch and seatbelt installation methods at the same time. If both are used, the force causes there to be too much pressure against the car seat. As a result, the seat can potentially break or be less effective in safely restraining a child during a car accident. Obviously, the fact that the straps on Phoenix and London's car seat harnesses were loose was also concerning. Several TikTok users encouraged Paris to hire a professional to install the car seats correctly, and others recommended that she take a car seat safety course. But some people couldn't believe that she hadn't realized there were three major safety issues with how her kids' car seats were installed and came up with a pretty bizarre theory. In a thread posted to a subreddit dedicated to discussing pop culture gossip, people talked about Paris's car seat mishaps. Believe it or not, Many Reddit users suggested that she knew that the seats were installed incorrectly, but shared the video anyway for a truly unbelievable reason. A lot of people speculated that Paris knew she was going to be called out for the car seat mistakes and had posted the video for engagement and attention. One person mentioned that she had received a surprising amount of love when she claimed that she didn't change any of her son's diapers until he was a month old and was probably expecting the same response. Shockingly, many of the people who had commented on Paris's video to point out the problems with the car seats were super polite. Of course, there were critical remarks as well, but it was almost strange to see that most people weren't judgmental with their approach. Not long after after Paris posted the clip of the car seats, she deleted it from her TikTok account. But according to TMZ, she shared another video the next day which showed that the car seats had been readjusted and properly installed 
and what she had written in the caption was honestly unexpected. Paris explained that she was new to parenting and thanked everyone who had given her advice. Interestingly, so many people flooded the comment section with positivity and praised her for owning up to and correcting her mistake. The amount of feedback that Paris got on her video was absolutely unreal, which made the theory about her posting her parenting mistakes on purpose seem even more possible. After all, she pretended to be ditzy and unintelligent for years. She even changed the way she spoke to have more of a soft sounding baby voice and the reason why was seriously shocking. According to her agenda in 2021, Paris broke down her dumb blonde persona when she appeared on an episode of the podcast 9 to 5-ish with The Skim. She explained that when she was on The Simple Life in the early 2000s, the show's producers wanted her to pretend like she was basically clueless about everything. Paris claimed that she decided to keep the act going off camera because it had become something of a shield. She added that when she faked being dumb, she was able to protect herself and her private life to an extent because nobody knew who she really was. Paris confessed that she ultimately came clean about her persona because she was always being underestimated, even though she was very responsible, hardworking, and smart. But she said that she didn't regret that she had pretended to be a dumb blonde for years because the impact it had on her life was truly incredible. Paris explained that her persona had helped her become relevant and famous, which led to her being able to create her own empire. She admitted that if she could go back, she wouldn't change how she portrayed herself because it ended up being a genius move. Paris shared a similar sentiment last year when she appeared on the UK talk show, Lorraine. The Daily Mail reported that she had told the host of the show, Lorraine Kelly, that pretending to be a dumb blonde was her trick to becoming famous. Paris claimed that she had leaned into her persona when she launched her music career as well. She added that it was actually smart for her to fake being dumb because it helped her reach a high level of success. Based on how beneficial Paris's persona was for her career and fame in general, it's possible that she really has been staging her parenting mishaps. Maybe she's pretending to be clueless once again in order to gain attention and stay relevant. But now that we've gotten into the possible truth behind her fake parenting mistakes, I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on Paris saying that she became more famous and successful because she kept up her dumb blonde persona for years? Do you think that she's been faking the parenting mistakes she's been making lately to increase her social media engagement and remain relevant? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments below.